funny. Well, that's nice. Uh, hi, guys. Happy Thursday. Mortgage Mark here. Um, I'm starting this with the voice says recording in progress. Joel and I just went through this and I apparently didn't push record. So happy Thursday. Uh, new to you. Repeat for us. So guys, new new format today. Joel Standard, he's here with me today. He's in our office. He's been with us or been with me. He and I have been together for 10 years. That's a long, over 10 years, long time. Joel's responsible for making sure everything in the back end goes smoothly. Processing, underwriting, title, closing. We have a 9.7, 9.8 uh, consumer set out of 10. Uh, consumer satisfaction and a huge part of that is because it's just Joel making sure things go well on the back end. So Joel, we got mostly real estate professionals watching this. Give me one piece of advice you have for them today that can make things better in their lives. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. I think the best piece of advice is if you have something that changes on the contract, no matter what, now what, no matter how small or how big you think it is, make sure that everybody that's part of the transaction, especially on the lender side, knows that you have it. Never assume that someone's going to give it to anybody. Make sure that whoever the salesperson you're working with, or if you're working with a processor, it doesn't matter. Make sure that everybody has it. That way that they can confirm, yes, we receive it. And yes, we've made that change. Guys, I know that seems really elementary, and, but literally like this week, we had somebody with a seller concession that we didn't know about, CDs out and all that fun stuff. And like, hey, this is not there. And they're like, well, I gave it the title. Guys, just make sure the lender who's preparing all that actually knows what's going on. So going back to the you know more traditional format, what we've done in the past, um, guys, we're not going to do the formal slides, um, although we could. You can get rid of my Zoom meeting here. No, don't leave. Sorry, cancel. Um, guys, for rates, I got in trouble with compliance, if I'm being honest. Uh, for quote, unquote, quoting rates, I'm not quoting rates. I'm just quoting freddymac.com. So here's the Freddie Mac screenshot from today. You guys do you. You know, I'm not quoting anything that said my rates, not Homebridge. This is a conforming 30-year Fannie Mae, or pardon me, Fr Freddie Mac loan. And this is their their website, not mine. I'm not quoting anything, uh, but it's 3%. It's up. Uh, it's, they have been going up as evidenced by this chart. Remember, guys, going this way is bad, right? It's opposite. Red is bad. Green is good. You can see our rates have been going up since basically mid-September. And the biggest reason for all that is because of what's in the news, all about inflation. Inflation is going up. We all know that things are taking longer to get to us. They're more expensive. Gasoline's gone up. Cost of building a home, as we all know, has gone up. But gasoline, at least good news in Texas, we're under three bucks. So good for us. Uh, it's about 10, 15% lower than the national average. Um, Joel is our in-house, whether he knows it or not, he's our in-house resident cryptocurrency expert. And the reason why I bring this up, we are merging with a blockchain company that should be finalized hopefully in the next, you know, by the end of the year. So next 60 days, give or take. Um, Joel, fill us in on block, uh, on Bitcoin and, and kind of what, what you got me doing this week. So fill me in. All right. So... As you may or may not know, and mainstream media has reported this off and on, uh, Bitcoin's price has increased up to 67000 just this week in the past couple of days, uh, which can be a big deal. Uh, with the release of their ETF uh, futures exchange fund, uh, the price spiked. Um, it probably will stay where you see it now on the screen. Um, and what that means is there's a lot of people putting money into the crypto space. So um, as an investment, a lot of people are putting money here, which can be a big deal, especially in our line of business. We want to we're making sure we know where that money is going to. And as we are merging with a blockchain company, uh, it makes a lot in our universe as well. What did what, what you get me to do this week? So with, with BlockFi.com, B-L-O-C-K-F-I.com, Joel turned me on to this. Uh, this week, I, I threw some money at it. Tell, tell me more because Joel knows what I did with his guidance. Uh, what, what am I doing and what are you doing? Right. So BlockFi is a crypto exchange. Basically, you invest, you invest your money there and they pay you back interest on the, the money that you have sitting on the exchange. So um, any of the cryptos that they have there pay you back interest up to 8%, um, down to 4.5%, uh, which can be a big deal depending on how much money you have sitting there. So uh, the big thing here is if you have money sitting in your savings account that makes you know 0.15% interest, it's not going to really beat inflation, right? So in this aspect, you can have your money in a stable coin like the, the USDC, which is the the stable coin for the US dollar, uh, it's a dollar for dollar. So if you're making 8% on that money, not only are you earning interest and beating inflation, uh, you're going to be, you're going to win in the long run. So it's still new to everybody for the most part, but hey, I'll take 8% all day. Totally. I'm in the I'm in the USDC guys. We're not advocating that you should be, but I'm just telling you, I'm earning 8% on my money. I didn't throw my life savings over there because that just, you know, I don't trust it, <laughs> but uh, enough to do that. But Throw some some bucks over there and get eight percent on something that basically just has your money sitting there. 
game all, all day long. Um, for just news or kind of just reminders, if you will, guys, remember conforming loan limits, they will be going up. We at Homebridge were already doing loans at these limits. So the old 548 comma 250 to avoid jumbo financing is now up about 75 grand. So 625. So anybody that thought maybe this was a jumbo, it's no longer a jumbo with our world. Uh, I suspect the rest of the industry can and will be complying with this in the next few months, but we've already taken the leap. I know some other mortgage companies have as well. And then lastly, guys, just a reminder, if you know me well enough, you know that I got this clock green and red, shows how many hours a day I prospect doing the things I'm supposed to be doing. Um, so if you guys don't do this already for 20 bucks, it makes you super hyper focused on actually doing what you're supposed to do. So really and truly spend your time doing green time, you know, nights and weekends and all that stuff when you when you should be prospecting, just make sure or working the red time rather, make sure you're spending the golden hours, the eight to five, Monday through Friday, or if you're, you know, the real estate professional, a lot of the times that's the weekend as well. Make green and by, by making those phone calls, seeing people and just activity breeds activity. Thank you as always for joining us. Hope you like the new format and hope it's interesting to you. Bye guys.